Tonight, we have continuing coverage of the three men who are charged in a child pornography ring, many of the victims' children from our area. Two of the men were in court today. One of them, John Yoder, was a special education aide for Palm Springs Unified School District. News Channel 3's Joe Galley was in the courtroom and traveled to Desert Hot Springs to speak with a parent who is convinced her son had contact with John Yoder. John Yoder came to court wearing a red jumpsuit, meaning he's been separated from the general population in the jail. The judge scheduled a preliminary hearing for Yoder next week. His lawyer says Yoder is ready to fight the charges of child pornography, human trafficking of a minor, conspiracy, and lewd acts on a child under 14. We see the charges as very ser serious. We see the evidence as almost not there. I mean, that's why we're pressing the case on the prelim. There has to be some evidence of every element of the charges, and frankly, so far, I haven't seen it. His lawyer maintains Yoder is just a scapegoat for William Clyde Thompson, who faces prosecution in Nevada. Frankly, the people that were taking pictures of the boys were the people that were sort of sucking him in as a pawn or a dupe. So he was not the person taking the pictures. Mr. Thompson, who is being prosecuted in the Nevada courts, is the person who was taking the pictures and lying and manipulating uh, Mr. Yoder. 29-year-old Eric Monsavis of Los Angeles also faced the judge. He's the third alleged member of this suspected child porn ring. He waived his right to a speedy trial and will be back in court in two weeks. Digging deeper, we learned Yoder was a special education aide for the Palm Springs Unified School District for the last three years, working in several schools in the valley, including Desert Hot Springs and Palm Springs High Schools, Painted Hills and Desert Spring Middle Schools, and Julius Corsini Elementary School. A parent that I talked to said that the administration told her that John Yoder had been a one-on-one -on -one aide with a student at John Corsini Elementary School at least one time, and he had been on the campus at least eight other times. This parent asked us not to use her name or put her face on television. But that's what scares me because there's, they're letting this man be around our children and, and yeah, they go through fingerprints and all that and they tell me that to make me feel better. It's like, okay, so if this man fell through the cracks, how do you know there's not other staff that is falling through the, through the cracks as well? What is our district doing to protect our children? We talked to Palm Springs Unified School District. It's sending out a letter to all parents with special needs children at these schools. Parents of children who are not special needs shouldn't be concerned since Yoder only had contact with special needs kids. I don't know what, what the next step is. I, I sat there and spoke to the principal. How, how are you going to reassure me that my son's going to be okay and safe at school? I can be with him 24 hours at school. They won't allow me. And I also have other children. How do I know that my, my children are safe at school in this district? The Palm Springs Unified School District says Yoder is on unpaid leave pending the outcome of the trial. Joe Galley, News Channel 3.